Hey everybody. Today's the day. <laughs> Today's the day, Sarah. All dressed up. Yes, I always wear a bow tie for my face for any time I go do a live video on Facebook. Gotta wear the bow tie. Hey everybody. That's right, Adam. What else do you expect? It's me. I gotta wear a bow tie. Hey Andy, how are you? Oh, thank you, Melinda. I have a bunch of bow ties. I didn't know which one I would wear for today. I like bow ties. <laughs> there are seven of you in here right now. There was 25 that said that they were going to join. So I'm going to wait for the room to fill up just a little bit more. So if you want to go get a cup of coffee or a drink or you want to eat your own scorpions, uh, you have a few minutes. I'm just going to hang out in here. And if you want to ask me questions in the meantime, go ahead. Bow ties are cool. Thank you, Andy. I wish I could get this chat this uh the little chat am i nervous uh a little i mean nervous about eating scorpions nah nervous about being on live video a little <laughs> i'm not used to this i'm used to hiding behind a microphone and talking to my screen and not a bunch of people hello l eight of you peanut butter kit kats have been eaten already i i'd like some peanut butter kit kats not gonna lie. Hi, Stacy. Ten. Ten of you. Hi, April. How are you? I'll wait for a few more to show up. And it's ten o'clock in the morning. I'm still drinking coffee. You're doing fine, mate. Thank you. Hi. I'm literally going to pop back underneath my sprinter for a moment, yell that you're ready so I can climb out in time. I will do that. I'm going to wait for a few more people to show up. Hey, Dad. Video scarier than scorpions. Yeah. You've done live video before, right, Adam? When do you stop drinking coffee? Um, probably around noon. At work, I stop drinking coffee at about 10.30 or 11. Hey, Stacy. Thank you. I love the bow tie, too. Hey, Paul. 3 p.m. in the UK. I'm watching Snooker with a glass of vino. You are living your best life, my friend. And the video asked, acts as a mirror, so I can, like, I can, I can uh, adjust this. It looks pretty good. There we go. Gotta dress up for this. It's the video is backwards, so it's messing with me. There we go. Hey Mar, how are you? How many of you are expecting me to gag or or get sick eating scorpions? Snooker? Is it snooker or snooker, Tiff? Hey, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. You have faith in me, Sarah? Hi, Riley. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Hey, Kate. Snooker. Is that it? Am I saying it right? You'll just crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> hey, Keith. I'm going to wait for 
uh, five or six more people to, to pile in here, and then I'm going to do some talking, and then I'm going to actually eat the scorpions. Did you have flavor choices? Actually, no. They're, uh, you just get scorpions from what I could see. I got mine on Amazon, and uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of choice. Oh, snooker like hooker. Oh, boy. Can you see who's joined you? Yes, I can. Uh, as they come in, I can see who is here. I think I can't. I don't have the whole list. Maybe if I click on this, nope. I can see how many are here, but I can't see exactly who is here. So I'm trying to acknowledge everybody as they come in. Fifteen people. Let's get five more, and then we'll get the show on the road. Thank you, everybody, for joining. This is fun. Could my dogs eat these? I don't see why not. I don't think they would sell them if they were still had venom in them. Put hot sauce on it. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't think I will. I don't think I'll put any condiments on them. I think I'll just eat them as they are. Please don't be too funny. I can't laugh. Could my cats eat these? I don't see why not. Snoo rhymes with who. I'll shut up now. So it is snooker. Is that what you're saying? Too early in the morning for bow ties. It is never too early in the morning for bow ties. And I will say that if you've worn a regular tie your whole life, if you've had to, to do that once in a while, and you switch to a bow tie, you'll never go back. Like, unless you're really hung up on how it looks and how, what people are going to think of you, which I'm not. But to have it all up here and contained, instead of flopping around here and catching like food and coffee, it's just this is more practical. My father bought barbecue scorpions for my sister's partner. I don't, I didn't think to ask where he got them. Why are we talking? Oh, because uh, we're talking about snooker or snooker because Andy is watching snooker right now. Somebody bailed. Who, who left? It's never too early for bow ties, you monster. Don't chase off Keith. I want him in here. Don't you have snooker in America? We don't have a lot of things in America. We don't have rugby, which I would love to watch. We, um, the vast majority of people here still are not watching uh, football, like not American football. Everybody watches American football, but uh, soccer, nobody really watches that. The, I mean, people do, but just the vast majority of people don't. Where do I get my bow ties? At the store. <laughs> or I have them given to me. Uh, Vanessa sent me one. And I just get them if I if I'm out shopping, which I try to never be, and I see a bow tie that looks good, I buy it. That's what she said. Or if the tie hides the buttons that are stretched at the mid midsection, you won't go back. I know it's a weird country. Now snooker is like the one that's like billiards except there's like 83 balls on the table is that correct fifteen people is this gonna be it <laughs> should I get a bow tie for Clara of course you should do they make bow ties for cats because if they do everybody with a cat should get a bow tie for it I know they have them for dogs. I've seen them for dogs. Um, but if you have a, be a pet bow tie store nearby, do get them some. Hi, Casey. Hi, Laura. I eat like a three-year-old, so having a non-flapping tie might be a great move. I hope you don't have to wear ties too, too often. 83 balls on the table, yes. Yes, they do. Yep, I don't even know what you guys are answering right now. Hey, Gary! I have a picture of beans wearing a bow tie. Yeah, I'm guessing that's your pet. Unless you're calling one of your kids beans, which I endorse. 
Hi, Sarah. Oh, we're there. We're almost there. Two more people, and I'm going to start this deal. My big, dumb orange cat has a fancy blue bow tie. Kipper would not wear a bow tie. I bet he would. Bigger table, smaller pockets. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. They have a huge table. My husband will watch absolutely anything competitive, underwater basket weaving. He'd be all over it. I stopped watching sports a few years ago. I had a family member that was way into it, like way into it to the point where he was getting up and yelling at the TV and throwing things, and I just, that turned me off to sports. I really wasn't following sports all that close to begin with, but, man, I don't want to be that guy. Hi, Tori. A six-foot by 12-foot table. That is huge. It has to be that big if there's 83 balls on it. Instead of four by eight. I should have set a, a reminder alarm. I'd be so late. You're, I haven't really officially started yet. I'm waiting for a couple more people to hang in there. All right, Gary. Well, that's fine. I hope you have a good day at work, and you can catch the replay later. This is, a, this is going to be on Facebook for a while. For all the people that... Um, oh, no. Talk about Snooker all you want. I haven't... I'm waiting for two more people to start this thing, so... Because I have a few announcements and I have things to talk about. Hi, Joy. There we go. There's 20 people. All right, we're going to get going. Hi, Lisa. I podcast and stuff. Podcasting takes over a lot of your hobbies and interests, I found out over the past couple of years. I don't watch TV anymore. I don't really play video games anymore, except for mobile games. Um, and this is what I do now. How come? I. T I I thought I said hi to you, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. All right, let's get the show on the road. Um, before we start uh, eating scorpions, I'm going to pull my phone up. And uh, first of all, I want to thank the Patreon supporters that give to the Varmints Podcast. Those people are John, Nikki, Christy, Christine, Katie, Adrian, and of course, Clay Grove. So thank them. I, I, we do thank them for their support. Really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to support us on Patreon, we would love that. Especially you, family members that are watching. That's right, you who know how much work I put into this. I'm shaming you right now, mom and dad, sisters. What are you doing? Give me three bucks a month. <laughs> You'll get stuff. I, but ideally, I want more Patreon supporters than I could possibly name in a, in a podcast. Like, I want so many that it would be in its own separate podcast. And uh, every little bit of money that you give us goes into making, uh, you know, swag, uh, sending people cool stuff, upgrading our equipment if we need to. It all goes right back into the show. I'm not going to, like, get a tattoo with it or do something dumb with it, just so, you know. Call. Hey, they're my family. They got to support my hobby. I mean, I would support them if they had a hobby. Guilt, 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 guilt. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> no, Gary, you don't already, but if you want to, I would really appreciate it. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. I'm going to keep making this podcast for free. And people who aren't Patreon supporters are going to get the same content. There's no early releases, there's no special episodes. And that's what I want to do for people who, uh, like me, can't really give anything to Patreon for reasons. Everybody's got their reasons. I have mine. So to so that they don't feel left out, the content is always going to be free. Let me scroll down here a little bit. So, yeah, thank you for the Patreon support, everybody. Uh, I have a few upcoming podcast appearances that you might be interested in if you like hearing me talk. The... Um, the first podcast I'm going to be on is called Nooks and Crannies, and that is hosted by Matt Sanderson, who is a, a member of this group. And uh, it's a lot of fun. He talks about a lot of different things on this podcast. And I went on to talk about uh, different kinds of candy bars in the world, which is really fun. And I also got to talk about life in Florida, which was fun, but it turned a little bit serious, but it was still fun. And I'm going to go back on his podcast one of these days um, to talk about insomnia, which should be really interesting. Um, you, you guys can hear me fine. Like, I'm not blowing your eardrums out, right? 
Early releases are fine. I don't really want to do early releases. I might, but I'd rather not. I'd rather have everybody get the same content at the same time. Because I can't, I can't support anybody for Patreon, and maybe somebody's in the same boat that I am. Okay, good. Thank you, Chris. Uh, yeah, so um, Nooks and Crannies, if you want to check that out, uh, the guy's name is Matt Sanderson. He's in the group, and I would highly recommend that podcast. It's, it's really cool. Um, there is another podcast called Play Comics by Chris Osborne, who is in the group. Um, have a good day, Gary. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he does a podcast called Play Comics, and it's a podcast about the video games and the comics that are associated with the video games and basically a little background about the comic the character and then sort of a playthrough review thing about the video game. And it's a lot of fun. And first game, I, I was been on this podcast before. We talked about a Game Boy Spider-Man game that was terrible. And I'm going to talk about another Game Boy Spider-Man game that, uh, spoiler alert, it's also terrible. <laughs> So we're going to do that uh, really soon. And uh, a, a podcast called Submitted for Your Approval. And that is hosted by another group member. His name is Brandon Cruz. He does a podcast where he talks about uh, the Twilight Zone uh, TV show. And he goes through it one episode at a time and discusses the episode. So uh, probably next week we're going to record that episode. We're going to do... Um, we're going to talk about an episode called The Arrival. So if you want to join us for that and you want to do a little homework along with us, uh, you can listen or watch episode, season three, episode two, I think it is. If you search for Twilight Zone, The Arrival, uh, you'll find uh, that show. And I think it's on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, you can just, you can just find it. All right. Will you eat other things if I ask you to? Of course. Of course I would. There's only a few things that I will not touch. Uh, butternut squash, I hate. I hate most squashes. I can't even look at cottage cheese. Like, literally, I can't even, I can't even look at it. I can't look at it even if it's in the container. I can't look at it if it's just pitch, pictures on the, inter, the internet. I can't look at it. Uh, and things that have blood in them, like blood sausage, I won't eat that either. But anything else is fair game. I'll totally eat. And I'm eating scorpions. Of course I'll eat anything else. <laughs> uh, there was no podcast this week. I hope this makes up for it somewhat. Um, hello, whoever joined. Did somebody join while I was yapping? That would be Lisa. Okay, I said hi to you, Lisa. God, cheese is awful. Yeah, I've had ketchup and mustard cake. So <laughs> I'll eat anything, really. I'll try anything. Uh, okay, so what I was saying was there's no podcast this week, and I apologize for that. Um, we wound up taking a longer break than usual this year. We usually take a couple weeks off, and this year we took like a month off, uh, five weeks, which is entirely too long, and I apologize for that. So I'm hoping that this video kind of makes up for it. Uh, and speaking of that, the episode we were supposed to release this week was about camels, we're going to release that on Wednesday. And since you are here, let me look at the comments real quick. Pig's blood is a common Chinese dish that Sin is hell-bent on getting to try. Hi, Mark. Mountain oysters, absolutely. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So, the, the, the episode this week is about camels. We've already had that recorded. Tomorrow, just in time for Groundhog Day, we are going to do a Groundhog's episode, finally. We missed Groundhog Day last year. This year, we're on top of it. We're going to do finches, which is a specific kind of bird, and that's going to be a challenging one to record because of just, it's a bird. And it's hard to find unique birds, but finches are pretty cool. So we're going to do finches. Uh, what's next? Cobras. We're going to do cobras. Um, we've been discussing uh, uh, snakes and how to cover snakes and we're going back and forth on do we do venomous or non-venomous or do we do well-known snakes and i think we're going to do well-known snakes maybe in the future we'll just lump a bunch of venomous or non-venomous snakes together into one episode like we've done a couple of times before but yeah we're going to talk about cobras in a couple weeks yaks have been a, a popular recommendation 
So we're going to talk about yaks uh, maybe in a month or so. And honeybees. We're going to talk about honeybees. Finally, we've been wanting to do honeybees for quite a while. We both know people that uh, raise honeybees. They're both very busy right now. Maybe we'll get one of them to come on the show, but more likely than not, Donna and I will just cover honeybees ourselves, and we're looking forward to that. Yeah, honeybees are really cool. Pelicans are neat birds. They are definitely on the list. They have been for some time. Owls. We did an episode about owls, like, way long ago. Like, I think when our episode was in single digits, we did an episode about owls, and it might not even be on iTunes anymore, because right now, if I release a new episode on iTunes, it bumps off the oldest episode. So a lot of the older episodes are going away, and I don't know why that is or how to fix it. So if you want to listen to the first few episodes of this podcast, you can, for sure. You just have to go to blazingcariboustudios.com slash varmints, and uh, just scroll down the list and, and look for those first few episodes. They don't sound great. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the podcast was still, still kind of in its larval stage at that point, but it was good. I think they're good enough to keep on there. I, I was proud of them. I'm still proud of them. I've gone back and listened to the old episodes, and I'm, what we had to work with and what we were doing, I'm, I'm fairly happy with them. All right. So if there's no questions, I'm going to go on Facebook on my phone because a few people had questions before I started eating scorpions. So let me find those real quick. We're eventually going to get to the scorpions. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. All right. So the thread I started said, if you can't ha hang out and watch me eat scorpions and answer your questions, leave any questions you have here and I'll answer them. So let me look through. My mom says, mom, support me on Patreon. How safe are these to eat? I'm not tempted, even if they are coated in chocolate, but I'm just curious. <clears throat> well, I assume that if they're selling them on Amazon as food, that they're safe to eat. Otherwise, people would sue them. They are not coated in chocolate, as far as I know. And uh, so I'm just, that's fine. I'm just eating them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Calf balls. Yep, absolutely. I would try those. Donna says, I have a question. Do scorpions taste like regret? And uh, the, the answer to that is I'll find out. Andy asked earlier where Donna was. And she said a while ago, she said, look, if you want to eat scorpions on Facebook Live, that's fine. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> and that's fine. So she says hi. And I asked her again last night because we did some audio testing and I, I spoke to her very briefly last night. And she's, her, her exact words were, I am not getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning to watch you eat scorpions, Paul. But maybe she'll see this video later on and, and she'll bail out when I actually do eat the scorpions. And that's fine. But that's why Donna is not here. She is most likely unconscious right now. And she has no desire to watch me eat things, which is fine. <clears throat> I wish there was a way to mute this audio. I'm so sorry. I Suddenly, I'm suddenly having to clear my throat, and maybe it's my body's way of saying, don't do this. Don't do this. <clears throat> All right. That sounds like the best reason to be up at 8 a.m. I, I agree with that. Andy asks, are the claws or stinger removed? Well, I haven't opened the, uh, the containers yet. But, so I don't know. We'll find out. And so with that question, let's just go ahead and open up these scorpions. I'll show you what I have. Um, Clay Groves, one of our Patreon supporters, who, if you are a family member, you should be, bought me a tin of scorpions. I bought a tin of scorpions on Amazon. I didn't know that he was buying me scorpions, and I couldn't return the scorpions I had. So... Uh, so I have two tins of scorpions. They're very similar looking. I don't remember which one I bought and which one Clay bought. So this one is called scorpions. And this one is called armor tail scorpions. Scorpions is plural, so I'm expecting more than one scorpion to be in these tins. 
They are, as you can see, very similarly packaged, which is why I don't remember which one Clay bought and which one I bought. I couldn't return mine, so, but two is fine, right? And as you can see, they're both sealed. I haven't looked inside of them yet. I have no idea. These are very, very lightweight containers. You wouldn't think that there was anything, anything at all in them, but I, I gave them a little shake. I don't know if you can hear that, just to make sure that there was something in there because they're so light. You wouldn't, you'd think they were empty and I'm hoping they're not. I'm, if this is just like a little, uh, a novelty piece that you put on your, that you put on your shelf and people go, Ooh, scorpions. I don't know. So, uh, this one is by a company called EcoEat, and this one is by a company called Meat Maniac. I hope Meat Maniac sponsors our podcast. Meat Maniac. So, let me see if there's any nutritional information on these. Net weight, two and a half grams. Best before date, 28 april 2019 so we're eating these before <clears throat> we're eating these before they go out of date which is great ingredients scorpions and salt allergy advice crustaceans because scorpions are crustaceans so i imagine if you can't have crustaceans you can't have these to maintain freshness can also contains one oxygen absorber so the fact that there's two uh things in this can and only one of them is a scorpion and it is still as light as it is hey chris uh is concerning so i don't expect these scorpions to be very big let's see what happens so i'm going to i'm going to start with the one that's a scorpions just plain old scorpions and let me see if it differentiates on this cans if there's They're the same exact species, according to the can, and the same exact ingredients. So these are the same scorpions. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. So what I have here, this is the this is the this is what comes in the can. There are two scorpions larger than I expected. And of course the, uh, the oxygen, I'm sorry, I'm shaking. And the oxygen package right here, which we'll see what happens. Um, one of these scorpions appears to be intact. No, neither one of them are intact. So does that mean scorpions aren't kosher? I don't know. Is there crunchy and smooth? Scorpions, I'm expecting these to be very crunchy. Get the bag open here. I'm going to empty these out on a piece of paper. Are there any questions? Are there any questions before I eat these scorpions? And you know what? I am going to uh, I'm gonna grab my phone real quick and take a picture of these so I can put it... Um, Put it in the comments for this video when this video goes live later so that you can you can see a nice high quality picture of scorpions let me take a picture real quick <clears throat> oh yeah oh yeah all right <clears throat> all right bye kate that's fine hi mark Display items to your left, please. The, cover, the comments cover some of the stuff on the right. Um, oh, to my left. So like this. Or like this. Like this, probably, because the comments are on the right. Okay. Come on. Hang in. We got 22 people. I'm shaking because I shake and because I haven't eaten yet. I haven't eaten breakfast and I've had like a cup and a half of coffee and I'm just a shaky dude. So hi, Natalie. No, you are here just in time. <clears throat> so without further ado, oh, look at this. 
to answer Andy's question, I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe not. But it does still have the stinger on it. Can you see that? So uh, this is the tail with the stinger going in. Oh, can you hear that crunch? Hmm. It is. It's flavorless, honestly. Um, here's the rest of the scorpion. Right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put things right in front of my face because I don't know where the comments are. So there's the rest of the scorpions. Uh, it appears the claws are still on it. The claws are definitely still on it. It has the legs and it has part of the tail still on it. So that part of the tail that I just ate uh, was probably from this guy right here. So going in. I can get, I can taste the salt. I'm trying to figure out what else that tastes like. How can I explain the flavor of this thing? Have you ever had like an unsalted pork rind or piece of bacon that just wasn't salted or, or, or smoked or anything beforehand? It's kind of bland, but it's got a little it's got a little funk to it. Hi, Maya. Hi, Tony. It needs a cheese sauce, probably. Um, okay, I got a couple more. Ah, again, again, we have one. The stinger is still on this one. So I couldn't feel the stinger. It's not even sharp. The stingers taste like nothing. It's the bodies that have a that have a distinct flavor to them. Actually, that tail did taste like something. Think of what that tastes like. Not oily. Um, you know how when you go to a fast food place and you get uh, an order of fries and there's always those couple of fries on the bottom that are like overdone or maybe they're even black? Kind of like that. Okay, so I have another body here. And I have a couple of legs that are just kind of left over. I'm not going to bother with those because they're very small. So here's another, here's another body. Back off a little bit. There's another body right there with some claws and some stingers. And legs. Actually, the legs fell off. There's still some legs on this one. And, uh... Yeah, again, these are not, even though the stingers and the claws are on here, they're not sharp at all. I'm, I'm dabbing them on my tongue. And, uh, yeah. They wouldn't be good on a cheesecake. Oh, that's kind of not good. They're dry. They're really dry. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, they might be good on something, but <laughs> there's still some legs on this one. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if the other tin is any better, shall we? Armor tail scorpions right there. You know what? I didn't even bother. Manufactured by JR Unique Foods Limited. Let me see who manufactures these. Manufactured by JR Unique Foods Limited. So they're just, they're the same exact scorpion by the same exact company with this, just a slightly different label. All right. We'll get the comments real quick. That's kind of not good. Would they taste better with ranch dressing powder on them? 
Thank you, Adam. Have a good day. They would taste better with anything, with something that would take care of the dryness because they're so dry. It's just, I can't describe, I'm trying to describe the flavor. All I can say is they're dry. They taste like, oh, these are intact. These are not broken at all. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, what do they taste like? I think they taste like if you got a little, if you're grilling hot dogs and maybe one of those hot dogs or a piece of one of those hot dogs falls into the coals and you scoop it out and you leave it on the table to kind of dry out and desiccate. Um, all right, have a good day, Keith. And you, you just took that burned piece of hot dog and let it sit on the counter to dry out for a few days. And you went back and ate it, and, you know, when it was really crunchy and gross. Uh, that That's kind of what it tastes like. It's not good. Hi, Joe. Not good at all. Should have live tweeted this. Nah, this is where all my people are. All right. These, I'm so happy. These are, these are intact. These are not broken apart. I don't know if you can see that or not because of the glare, but these are two scorpions and the the the, uh, the packet. But they're intact, and hopefully, when I um, when I empty them onto the paper, I'll take another picture. They will be they will be intact. Maybe on top of a slice of cheese, so that you can see it in all its glory. No, these are going in as they are just raw. So I'm going to put these on the same piece of paper and I'm going to take another picture. So pardon me for a minute. These are, these are fully intact. In the bag, there are a couple little tiny pieces of legs that I don't even know if you can see. Uh, but these are, these are whole scorpions. Uh, and I don't expect them to taste any better or any worse, but I am going to take a sip of coffee. And I am going to maybe have a little water just to kind of. Maya, um, one can says just scorpions. One can says armor tail scorpions, but they're the same exact ingredients on the can, and they come from the same exact place. They are just distributed by two different people. So one distributor decided to just call them scorpions, and one distributor decided to just call them armor tail scorpions, but they're really no different. Crunchy. We have a little sip of water. There are scorpion remnants stuck in my teeth, which is not pleasant. All right, uh, let me take a picture real quick, and then we'll get to this. Where's my phone? Here it is. Quick picture. Two whole scorpions. Oh, wait till you see these. And in the picture, you'll see some you'll see some leg remnants too. You're gonna love these. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this? <laughs> Instead of mixed nuts at a bar. I mean, if you've had enough to drink, and you're you are a uh, you know, adventurous. Yeah. Except these are expensive. I think I paid maybe $10 for two scorpions. I don't know how much clay paid, but I'm sure it was, it was roughly the same. So not a very good deal. Not a, uh, I, oh, I'm sorry, Amber. Not a good deal. Uh, not, not very cost effective. Um, wow. Ah. All right. I got two more. They are Oh, let me get this. Look at this. Look at that. That is a whole scorpion. Claws, stinger, everything. And it's going in. Oh. <laughs> that poked the inside of my lip. Remember when I said that the stingers weren't sharp? They're a little pointy. 
Oh my god. These are worse. The first ones had some flavor to them. These also have flavor. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. These have a different flavor, and it's decidedly worse. <laughs> oh, my God. Not good. Oh. Hi, Stephanie. You've, just, you've joined me just in time to eat my last scorpion, but once this posts, go ahead and watch from the beginning, because I have other things to, to talk about. Oh my god. It's drier than the other scorpions. Is there a different expiration date? Oh my god, maybe they're expired. Once opened, consume immediately or store in an airtight container for up to two days. I really do think that you're supposed to like maybe maybe these are just oh I don't know. Best before August 24th, 2019. So these are actually, these are actually a little fresher, which is disconcerting. I have one more. Oh my God. Okay. I'm not adding hot sauce. I'm not adding any condiments. I'm not adding anything. I'm just going to add this one last scorpion. I have a few little legs here that I'm going to pick up and pop in. That last scorpion, it legitimately poked me on the inside of my bottom lip, and it hurt. So I don't know if I should do. I don't know if I should do stinger first or claws first. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Here it is. It's one more. One more little scorpion. They are little, but you know that um, if these were alive, they'd be a lot bigger and plumper and judging by the size of that stinger these are actually have bigger stingers on them and um these would hurt if one of these whacked you it would it would hurt uh, claws first stinger first claws claws oh all kinds of merch ideas okay so claws first most people are saying claws first. Chris says sideways. Show us an open mouth bite. Okay, I can do that. Hey, Imran. Kind of the point of the stinger, though. Yeah, but I thought... I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I don't know what I thought. Okay. So I'm going to do claws first. Luke, for some reason, wants an open mouth bite. So maybe bite it in half. Is that what you're saying? Like, just bite it in half and then pop the pop the rest of it in. I love that it's not me. Hey, you know what? I got myself into this when we released the scorpions episode. I promised everybody that I would eat scorpions live. Uh, Donna basically dared me, and if you dare me, I will probably do it. So, open mouth bite means just bite into it with my teeth, so that you can see it, right? So let me make sure in the comments that that's what you want, Luke. Yes, okay. So I will do claws first with an open mouth bite. Hopefully you can hear this. Oh God. I can't imagine anybody eating these and actually enjoying them. So here's the other half. I think I roughly in half. Uh, and this is half of the thorax and all the stinger and all of the tail. So. Ah, again, that stinger poked me in the tongue. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh. 
Oh my god. I can't explain to you how dry these things are. One tiny little scorpion feels like it's just sucking all the moisture out of my body and into my mouth. Oh boy. Those are not good. Oh, I got like a little, I got little, like a little, little, uh, like soapy notes from it. Like that one, that one almost had like a little bit of, maybe it was part of the, uh, the little packet that, that desiccates these things, but they don't get too, too, they're dry. I mean, they're dry as a bone. But that one definitely had a sort of chemical aftertaste, which was not good. I'm okay. I'm never doing this again. Andy, thank you for signing up for Patreon. This is great. Uh, all Patreon proceeds will go to Pulse Therapy for doing this. <laughs> okay. In the back of my mouth, I have scorpion dust in my teeth. Like I have to, it's everywhere. Like all those little tiny legs and little bits of scorpion are all over my mouth. Oh, that helped a little bit. That helped a little bit. Oh, I'm not going to eat Tide Pods. Those are not food and not in the food box. <laughs> what if we dare you? If you dare me to do something, I will probably do it. <laughs> that is, that has been the way I've been in my whole life. That's been the way, that was the way I tried um, espresso the first time. And the first time I had sushi. My cousin was like, you won't like it. I dare you to eat that piece of raw fish. And I did, and I liked it. Okay, guys. Oh. <clears throat> you know what I just did? I burped up scorpion. <laughs> I'm going to go have some breakfast. My, uh, my daughter made a lovely frittata. It looks delicious. And uh, I'm going to go have a slice of that, probably some more coffee. And hopefully, that will get the, the uh, taste of scorpion out of my mouth. Yeah, does anybody have any more questions before I go? Any, any questions at all about the show, about anything? Luke knows if you dare me to do something, I'm going to do it. Only dare him to eat food stuff, not Tide Pods. I'm not eating a Tide Pod. I'm not eating a Tide Pod. Don't worry. Love you too, Chris. Uh, do you guys want to see more of these videos? Because I'm happy to do them. I'm happy to do them. This is a lot of fun, and I really appreciate all of you being here. Um, Scorpion Frittata. You know what? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> because they would be in something. Like, they would be in some eggs and cheese and stuff like that. Not just alone. Alone. Or, oh. oh, I know what they taste like. I know what they taste like. So maybe you've had a a bag of beef jerky and you get the little dust on the bottom of the bag of beef jerky and and you, you like you scoop out the dust and you pop it in your mouth like you do with a bag of chips when like little chip things go on the bottom um except without a whole lot of flavor you're gonna go to the dentist he's gonna find a stinger and be like what have you been doing <laughs> Kate says, as long as no scorpions are featured in future videos, I'll find something worse. I count that as a dare. I will find something worse. We all need to send him stuff to eat. If you want to do that, let me know, and I will private message you my address, and I will eat anything you want me to, almost anything you want me to, except for the things that uh, that I uh, that I that I spit, that I uh, uh, stated before. I can't unclench my toes. This is amazing. Good. Patreon support equals food request videos get priority. I like that idea. Will you eat surf strumming? 
Um, no, because I mean, unless you want me, unless you want to watch me puke, I probably won't do that. And I won't, I definitely will not do that in the house. And I don't even know if I can find it around here. Uh, I would have to do it outside. I would have to have a bucket nearby so that I could vomit into it. Um, but these, I don't, I don't get like nauseous over things. I don't, I can see gross things. I can hear gross things. I can taste gross things, obviously. But once I get a smell of something gross, I mean, I could barely change my own kids' diapers. And I've heard that Sir Stroman is worse. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but, um, I've seen videos online of people that have tried it and they are gagging and puking. I, I don't know. Whitlacochi and durian. I might be able to do durian. I would do durian. Hey, Corbin Maxi's here. Corbin Maxi, you're like a blister. You've shown up when all the work is done, <laughs> but I'm going to post this so you can, you can go back and rewatch it from the beginning. I'd really appreciate it if you do that. I think I can get pure capsaicin drops somewhere. Uh, I might do that. Salmon head? Tarantula and salmon head. I would definitely do tarantula. Salmon head now. Is the salmon head like cooked, or smoked, dried out? Durian would probably make me puke. Hello, Emily Jane. You are, are coming in at the end of this video, so I hope you go back when this posts and uh, go back and watch from the beginning. That would be great. All right. A bunch of people have bailed out. I'm going to bail out too. I'm going to eat some breakfast. Uh, if there are any super hot, hot sauce, I'm a heat seeker. So yeah, super hot, hot sauce I would do. So you guys have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all of your questions. I am going to go eat some breakfast and get this taste out of my mouth, which is still there. I'm going to drink a little more coffee and I'm going to go on about my day. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Uh, take care.